primarily use of GCSF in CAR-T, the data on it has been limited, have been limited and conflicting in CAR-T setting. And that primarily stems from the fact that GCSF could exacerbate the incidence, severity, and duration of CRS and ICANs via myeloid precursors, antigen presenting cell function, and induction of pro-inflammatory cytokines. A handful of small single center studies uh, have shown that while GCSF may decrease infections, and that too in a non-statistically significant manner, the severity and duration of CRS was significantly increased with its use. Also, GCSF utilization vary across centers. And, and additionally, uh, guidelines, large uh, body guidelines have been conflicting and product inserts are unclear. One large um, uh, axi cell and T cell, one of them does not comment on use of myeloid growth factors at all, while the other one uh, really limits its use until complete resolution of CRS. Until we have more data, it is recommended to not consider myeloid growth factors in CAR T setting until we get large body of data, either registry based analysis or uh, uh, best case scenario, prospective randomized uh, uh, trial uh, results. So in this uh, CIBMTR proposal, we hypothesize that GCSF usage shortens the duration of neutropenia and may decrease the incidence of infections. We also hypothesize that GCSF use is associated with an increased incidence, severity, and duration of CRS and ICANS. GCSF use after CAR-T infusion does not impact one-year outcomes, particularly response outcomes and survival outcomes. I think a meaningful way to examine this systematically would be to conduct a prospective randomized study uh, or a large multi-center study. Short of that, a uh, registry database that uh, collects data prospectively could be uh, utilized in the interim. And CIBMTR data provides a great opportunity in that regard. So uh, if such a study is designed, some of the clinically meaningful primary endpoints could include CRS, all grade and higher grade, graded according to the standard ASTCT criteria, as well as ICANs uh, examined in a similar manner with death as competing risk. Some of the secondary endpoints could include infection endpoints, uh, primarily incidence of neutropenia, time to neutrophil engraftment, and cumulative incidence and density of infections, overall bacterial, viral, and fungal infections, uh, let's say at landmarks such as day plus 30 and day plus 100, uh, compared between those who received GCSF versus those who did not receive GCSF. Now lastly, um, some of the clinical endpoints that could include, uh, which could be examined at six months and at one year, uh, are overall survival, progression-free survival, non-relapse mortality, and duration of response.